An ab wheel is a seriously underestimated piece of equipment for calisthenics. When used properly, it engages a lot more than just your rectus abdominis. It'll engage your entire core, your shoulders, and even your lats while improving the flexibility in your lats as well. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how a complete beginner can start using an ab wheel and learn the basic movement, the kneeling rollout, properly. Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Ryan from Minus the Gym. And like I mentioned, this thing, the ab roller or ab wheel, is really an awesome piece of equipment because it's super cheap. You can get them for like 10 bucks or less on Amazon. And I think it's a great piece of equipment for improving your calisthenics because it really strengthens your core and it allows you to get a feeling for that total body tension that you need for moves like the handstand and the dragon flag. In fact, I started using an ab wheel as I was pursuing the dragon flag and it really helped me get it a lot faster. So if you're looking to get any kind of flag move or lever or the handstand, definitely invest in an ab wheel. It's very helpful. So with that said, let's dive into the tutorial and see how to use an ab wheel correctly. Start off by kneeling in front of your ab wheel and then place your hands on the handles and try to position your shoulders directly or close to directly above the wheel. Once you're in this position, gently engage the muscles of your core, like around the abs and the lower back. And when you do this, your back should be pretty flat, as I'm showing here. Now what you want to do is get a feel for that flat back so that you don't do something like this. A curve in the lower back is not ideal, all right? So you want to make sure that back stays as flat as possible. Another thing people do sometimes is they arch their back like this, and that's also not ideal. Again, you want to try to keep your back nice and flat. So with that in mind, slowly start letting the ab wheel roll out in front of you, bringing your hands slightly in front of your shoulders. Then check if you're in frame, if you're filming a YouTube video, and then pull that ab wheel back to the starting position. Now the way I do that is by pressing with my arms and shoulders down into the ground and pulling with my lats. You're pulling the wheel back. So keep working on that, just going slightly forward, all right? You're not trying to go all the way forward as a beginner, that would be too much. What you'll notice is the more your hands go forward in front of your shoulders, the more tension you feel in your core, specifically the front of your core, like the rectus abdominis, which is the six pack, the transverse abdominis, internal obliques, external obliques, all those muscles around your abs. So keep working on this kneeling rollout, and what you're going to notice is as days and weeks go by, you'll be able to roll forward more and more, getting a further reach of your hands out in front of your shoulders. Your core, your arms, your shoulders, even your upper back are going to be building strength to help support yourself in this movement. And eventually you're gonna find that you can go even closer to the ground, all right, starting to get your face looking straight down at the ground below you. And at this point, you're really gonna to start to feel more tension on your upper back, your shoulders, and even your lats as you really open up the shoulders to get your face down to the floor. So this, what I'm demonstrating right here, is what I would consider a full kneeling rollout, going so close to the floor that your nose is almost touching. And when you're in that position down here at the bottom, notice that my back is still pretty flat, right? I'm engaging that posterior pelvic tilt, keeping my back flat by engaging the core for stabilization. Now, if you feel like you can't open your shoulders quite enough, then perhaps a good lat stretch is what you need. And one lat stretch that I really recommend and I use a lot is from yoga, actually, where from a kneeling position, you bring your butt to your heels, chest down to the knees, and then outstretch your arms in front of you, this is what's called child's pose. What I really like about child's pose is that gravity is doing the work for you. So you just let your head kind of sink down, feel a good stretch in your lats right there where the arrow is pointing. And the closer your nose or jaw gets to the floor, then the deeper the stretch. And how about some extra exercises you can do for your ab wheel? The first one here doesn't require the ab wheel, but will help you prepare for it and strengthen for it. And that is to get into a straight arm plank, step your hands out in front of your shoulders, and hold what's called an extended plank. And this really tenses up the core for stabilization, just like the ab wheel does. In fact, the ab wheel pretty much capitalizes on this concept of extending your arms in front of your shoulders during a plank and tensing up the core. Another exercise you can do is a plank, 
but instead of your hands on the floor for stabilization, you can actually put your hands on the handles of your ab wheel. And since the ab wheel wants to roll forward and backwards and topple over side to side, this adds a, uh, a dynamic of stabilization that you don't typically get in a plank. So definitely try that out as well. And once you're doing the full kneeling rollouts, you also want to try this, where instead of going straight forward, you roll out and veer off to one side, making a uh, diagonal kind of direction. And then you're going to come back and then veer off in the other direction. And I call these V rollouts because you're essentially making the letter V from the center point going diagonally in both directions. Veering off to the sides like this is going to challenge the sides of your abdominal wall more, specifically the internal and external obliques and the transverse abdominis. So a quick recap, remember as you work on these kneeling rollouts to gradually progress until you get closer and closer face to the floor, remember that your lat flexibility might have to be increased with the child's pose stretch like I had to increase mine, and you'll need some strength from the lats and the shoulders to pull down on that ab wheel to return to the starting position. And of course, tense your entire core to keep that back flat with posterior pelvic tilt. Remember the importance of shoulder flexibility, all right, and flexibility in your lats. Being able to really open up the shoulders is very important to get deep down all the way face to the floor, which really gives you the most benefit from the ab wheel. And I honestly think this piece of equipment is kind of, uh, it's not named properly because it's hitting so much more than your abs and it's useful for more than that. If you found this video to be helpful, please give it a like. That really helps me out. It tells YouTube that I did a good job with the video and promotes it. And don't forget to subscribe to Minus the Gym. My channel is all about body weight, fitness, and healthy eating. All right? And with that said, I will see you in the next video.